Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video here at Just Saying. My name is Christy. I have made a Thinking of You card and I'm going to show you today how I did it. I'm using the colors from Stampin' Up! Wisteria Wonder, Pool Party, and Pear Pizzazz. I used the stamp set, Awesomely Artistic, and the sentiment from Crazy About You. So this card has some um, coloring involved, some stamping, uh, I did some fussy cutting which means taking your little tiny scissors, spending some time and coloring out the little dragonfly. And for that also I added some extra little polka dots. I'll show you how, it, well, kind of show you how I did that. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera, but there's something called glossy accents that I've used. It gives a shiny effect to whatever you apply it to. It takes not overnight, but I leave it overnight to dry just so that I can work with it without causing more of a mess. So I'm going to get started on stamping. I have a card layer. If you ask me where I left it, um, this one will work. My card base is in Wisteria Wonder. The white is five and a quarter by four and this is what I'm going to stamp my images on. I'm using Stampin' Up! or Stays On Permanent Black. It works well for doing um, water-based coloring. It's an alcohol permanent ink and it doesn't bleed when doing coloring images. So I'm just going to stamp here. And then again at the top, changing the location. There we go. Now these flower images get hand colored individually. Just going to squeeze my ink pad here, get some ink to the top that I use as my palette. I'm just picking up some of the ink with my blender tool and lightly, lightly, lightly filling in some white areas. And I'll come back and try to blend that a little bit when it's a bit softer. Adult coloring is huge and I get to do both adult coloring and stamping as my hobby. Just quick light strokes here. I realized on my copy that the card that I thought I finished that I haven't actually gone through and filled in my flowers. I'll have to come back to that. Okay, trying to get just a quick looking kind of a water effect, watercolor effect to this image. I'm just going to switch it around. One second here, blend that out some. Switch it, do it again. Quickly filling in some green. is just about done. And using Wisteria Wonder, same thing, squeeze the top, get some ink to the top of the pad. Cleaning off the green, just rubbing it off till it comes clear. And coming in with purple, just quick little motions, filling in the 
petals. finished. Okay, and we'll switch. I think I've got it filled in just kind of just enough. I can always come back to it if I find a glaring mistake. Sometimes I leave off a whole flower like over here. Ooh, two. Okay, sometimes you just need to know when is good enough. That seems good. Clean off my brush. And I'm going to close the ink up. Next color I'm going to use is Pool Party. The stamp set has a great little splattered dotted effect that I'm just going to go through and stamp. Just randomly stamping in a diagonal to keep going with that look that this card's got. Good. <laughs> this next bit is a little bit tricky. It's a grid line and the key is to try to get it straight off to the one side and line it up pretty good now I've gone ahead and pre-stamped my greeting from the crazy about you stamp set where you can mix and match the um, sayings that you want. This one I have the thinking of and then you would add in the rest of it. So I've just lined up and stamped or to stamp the thinking of you. I've done that. Well, that's not the one I wanted to use. Here's my little piece. I have an itty bitty banner punch just lining up and putting it through this way just to give me a bit of a tag effect. I'll do that on both ends. This strip of paper is just less than a half an inch, which fits perfectly in that space. Um, oh, I need some baker's twine. Pool Party Baker's Twine. 
Here's, I'm going to try to do a knot on camera. <laughs> Good luck, Christy. Okay. <laughs> Wrap it around a couple of times. And tie a knot. My brain wants to do a bow today. My fingers can barely do a knot. So I'm just going to try to do a knot. Nope, that didn't work. I swear when I'm doing cards, the ribbon and the twine takes me the longest. With a sharp pair of scissors, snip. So that just kind of brings in that pool party color. Bring this down just a wee bit. Okay. And this little green spot is my on camera area. You should see the space around it. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, using because this is a long strip and I want to give some consistency to this one so that it doesn't sag anywhere. I'm just snipping off the edges of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Remove the protective backing. Stick this one down. And I have a little... It's a hat according to what the stamp image is. But when you look at this little, okay, here's my little container of small stuff so it doesn't go missing while I'm, well, sometimes it goes missing um, while I'm crafting. I forgot to color the little bits in. It's a hat with a little flower. Um, it's so tiny, so almost unrecognizable. So I'm just going to bring in some purple with this. How is that for an angle? color in the little flower. And some leaves that I've got going on. Clean off the brush. And with my po piercing tool, find the center of my little flower that I colored and poke. And a little tiny brad. Piece this through. And separate the legs. Just one dimensional. And the card is almost done. I'm going to mount this first onto the base of the card stock, just because with the different heights of the front, it's sometimes hard to get adhesive in just the right places. Push that down, poke my thumb, take off the backing, place my hat. Perfect. And then these little dragonflies, I stamped Pool Party ink on top of Pool Party cardstock, and then using that same dotted effect that I did the background in, stamped that with Wisteria Wonder on the dragonfly, cut that out, applied the crystal effects overnight and came back and it's all glossy. So perfect. Using a mini glue dot just underneath the body of my dragonfly and place him here. And this card is done. 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy my cards and I look forward to making the next video soon.